Mastering Who's Forming and Direct Questions Hello learners! Welcome back to another exciting English language learning video. Today we will be diving into the world of indirect questions, focusing particularly on the question word, Who's? By the end of this video, you should be able to confidently form indirect questions using Who's? Before we dive into Who's? Let's take a moment to understand what indirect questions are. Indirect questions are a polite way to ask for information. They are softer, more formal, and more polite than direct questions. For example, instead of asking, what's your name? A direct question. You might ask, could you tell me what your name is? An indirect question. Now, let's talk about the word, whose. Whose is an interrogative pronoun used in questions to ask who owns or is responsible for something. For instance, you might ask, whose book is this? When you find a book and don't know who it belongs to. So, how do we combine these two concepts and form indirect questions with whose? Let's take a look. When forming an indirect question with whose, we often start with a phrase like, could you tell me? Or, do you know? Before adding, whose. Here are some examples. 1. Could you tell me whose car this is? 2. Do you know whose coat was left in the hallway? Keep in mind that we do not end these questions with a question mark because they are not direct questions. They're structured more like statements, but they are still asking for information. Let's try some practice examples together. 1. Direct question. Whose pen is this? 2. Indirect question. Could you tell me whose pen this is? 3. Direct question. Whose papers are these? 4. Indirect question. Do you know whose papers these are? Try forming your own indirect questions with whose and see how you do. That wraps up our video for today. Remember, forming indirect questions with whose can help you ask questions in a more polite and formal manner. Practice these structures often and soon, they will come naturally to you. Thank you for joining us today and keep practicing your English. See you in the next video.